Good morning, family. Happy Monday. I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful um, weekend. I am coming in with you guys Monday morning motivation. So let's get started, family. First quote I'm going to start with is this one. Life has a funny way of teaching us it will create deep sadness so we will know how to truly understand happiness. It will create chaos in our lives so that we may appreciate the peaceful times. And it will take those we love away from us so that we will truly understand what their presence meant to us. I'm going to say it again, family. Life has a funny way of teaching us. It will create deep sadness so we will know how to truly understand happiness. It will create chaos in our lives so that we may appreciate the peaceful times. And it will take those we love away from us so that we will truly understand what their presence meant to us. That hits hard for me, um, especially the part where taking away someone and um, understanding what their presence meant because, you know, for a lot of you, uh, um, all subscribers, you guys know that both of my parents are deceased. Uh, my mom died in 2017, in February, and my father died in 2012, October. So, um, that unquote definitely hit hard for me, you know, because not that I didn't appreciate them when they were here. It's just, you know, when people are, you know, no longer in your life, you know, physically, you know, um, I don't know about you, family, but me, you know, it's like, you know, I envision, you know, them still here, especially with the holidays coming up, because both of my parents enjoy the holidays, and so it's always uh, it's like a struggle and extra hard for me to um, get through the holidays, because I know that my parents um, really enjoy being around family, and um, some of the fact that they are no longer here, it's, it's, it's hard to try to get in the mode. It's hard to stay positive for you know get in the spirit you know but thank to thank i'm so thankful to god that he uh brings me through um all the holidays you know now that i'm not gonna sit there and tell you that i don't be sad because i do you know but i try to you know like try to you know snap out of it because you know um i have you know uh my family around me and you know, I want their uh, holidays to be pleasant. I don't want to be upset and all that during the holidays. So that's why I said this quote definitely hits hard for me, especially the part when it says about the um, love was being taken away from you, you know, and you understanding what their presence meant, you know. I understood what their presence meant when they were here, but now that they're no longer here, you know, oh, God, how I wish they were here. And their presence definitely left a hole in my heart, you know, that they no longer here, that I will never be filled, but I still have to go on with my life because I still have a uh, family that do need me, you know, while I'm still here, so um, I definitely understand, you know, um, when our loved ones are no longer here, you know, what their presence meant when they were here. And now that they not now that they are not here, I, you know, they presence me, you know, even more because I can't talk to my mother, I can't talk to my father, you know, I can't, you know, pick up the phone and call my mother or have her call me, you know, and I miss those times, you know, I miss just hearing her laugh, you know, I miss seeing my father, you know, with my kids, you know, um, so yes, that quote definitely hit hard for me, family. Um, the next quote I have for you guys is, I ran across this yesterday, and it's a, a quotation. It says, a wise old man was talking to a boy and said, there are two wolves always fighting inside you. One is filled with anger, hate, jealousy, shame, and lies. The other wolf is filled with love joy truth and peace this is a battle this battle i'm sorry this battle rages inside each of us as well 
The boy thought for a moment and asked, which wolf will win? The old man answered, the one you feed. Let me say it again, family. A wise old man was talking to a boy and said, there are two wolves always fighting inside of us. One is filled with anger, hate, jealousy, shame, and lies. The other wolf is filled with love, joy, truth, and peace. This battle rages inside each of us as well. The boy thought for a moment and asked, Which wolf will win? The old man answered, The one you feed. Amen to that family. You know, we all, you know, have inside of us, you know, you know, I'm it's gonna be blunt honest, you know, we, we all have um some ways about us that's not good, you know, that we like to improve and we definitely have ways inside of us that are good, you know, and um we all have been around people who bring out, you know, the worst in us as well as the good in us. And so it's definitely definitely it's true that it really depends on who, you know, I'm around, you know, um which wolf will come out. Now, to be honest with you, family, I try to tame the wolf because um, I don't like to be angry or full of rage or all that. That's not me. That's not me at all, you know. But I know it's some people who know me and know certain things to tap on to try to get me to that level. And now that I am a little wiser, I can, you know... Uh, pretty much realize when people are trying to take me to that level so I stop you know and if I am around a person I will exit you know and if I am talking to that person I will exit because I know what you're trying to do you're trying to take me out of you know out of my spiritual zone and I'm not gonna let you do that I'm not gonna give you that power so it's definitely this quote right here is definitely true you know about you know which wolf to feed you know it's always depending on the situation, you know, um, or the person that I'm around, you know, that, you know, shall I say, the wolf will come out, you know, it could be the good wolf, you know, or the not so good wolf, but I try to tame the, the bad wolf because, like I said, that's not me. I try to stay, you know, happy and full of joy, you know, um, that's not always, I'm not going to wake up every day and feel happy. But I try to see some positive in the day, you know, as I go on with my day. So, um, that's my philosophy on that family. Okay, family, I'm um, here in our city. We heard that we're going to get some snow today. And they're not telling us how much snow we're going to get. But right now, it's um, got little flurries out right now. And um, they say the roads are very icy and slick. So, you know. Gotta leave a little bit early to, you know, get the kids to school and get to work, you know, without no incidents. God willing. So, family, I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed Monday. Stay safe. Stay bundled up if it's cold where you are living. And if it's in God's will, family, I will see you all tomorrow on Tuesday. Love you, family. Bye.